questions for gate 2011 ECE paper topic we are discussing is electron devices in that one we are discussing two marks question series this is fifth fifth two mark question given the data for this question is the channel resistance of an n channel j fit shown below is 600 ohms when the full channel thickness is 10 micrometers available for conduction the built-in voltage of gate junction is minus 1 volt and when the gate to source voltage is 0 volts that is VGS of 0 volts the channel is depleted by 1 micrometer on each side due to built-in voltage and hence thickness available for conduction is only 8 micrometers look at the diagram of N channel J effect given the channel resistance is 600 ohms when the full channel thickness of 10 micrometer is available if this T channel is 10 micrometer by that time the channel resistance is 600 ohms and if we are applying VGS of 0 volts when VGS of 0 volts at that time there is a small built in voltage across this PN junction this PN junction is given with some small built in potential that built in potential is minus 1 volt and because of that one some depletion region is going to be formed the depletion region width is 1 micrometer on each side this side PN junction will have 1 micrometer this side PN junction will have 1 micrometer when VGS is equal to 0 so that effective channel previously it was 10 micrometers now 10 minus this 1 plus 1 10 minus 2 which is nothing but 8 micrometers is available this is what the given information you need to calculate channel resistance when VGS of minus 3 volts is it is if VGS is equal to minus 3 volts at that time what is the channel resistance whether it is A 360 ohms 917 ohms 1000 ohms 3000 ohms the right answer for this question is C 1000 ohms So we see the internal details. Look at the given diagram. The given diagram consisting of N channel MOSFET. Generally N channel MOSFET is fabricated by using N type semiconductor. This is N type semiconductor and two P plus regions are going to be placed into that N type semiconductor on both sides. So this is one P plus region and the other P plus region. These two P plus regions are connected internally and this is a connection shown externally actually. So these two P plus regions are shorted. So that whatever the voltage you are applying across one gate that will be applied equally for both PN junctions. And current whenever you are applying drain to source voltage, current always flows from drain to source through this N type semiconductor where it is going to be acting as a channel so if you are not applying any voltage VGS that is when the gate is open by that time no depletion region is formed across PN junction there are two PN junctions you are getting on both sides of gate so one is P plus N junction the other is also P plus N junction so since gate is open no depletion region is going to be formed whenever no depletion region is formed at that time the maximum thickness is available for channel which is given as 10 micrometers so for JFET always we apply gate to source voltage as negative only we never apply positive voltages because to get one of the important characteristic of voltage amplifier voltage amplifier ideally it should contain infinite gain infinite input resistance zero output resistance out of this one we are going to concentrate on input resistance input resistance is nothing but input voltage by input current so if you are going with input side is nothing but gate source junction if it is reverse bias if you are applying negative voltage for VGS at that time PN junction will become reverse bias under reverse bias you will find very large input resistance so that the input resistance of JFET amplifier is going to be ideally infinite and it is
it is practically very very large because of reverse bias p injunction since if you are going with bjt amplifiers the input junction that is emitter based junction which is always forward biased we know that one under forward bias effective resistance is very very small so there we don't get the satisfaction of input resistance of ideal amplifier here input resistance of ideal amplifier can be achieved by making pn junction across gate source that is input junction reverse bias so what actually happening the operation of n channel effect can be explained in this way as vgs increases vgs increase is nothing but as you are going to be applying more and more negative voltage so we can say like this as vgs increases negatively as vgs increases negatively depletion region with w increases because negative voltage increasing is nothing but these two p plus junctions p plus n junction p plus n junction will become reverse bias because you are applying negative voltage towards p side and n side is connected with ground so n side is more positive than p side for this condition so that implies nothing but those p plus n junctions both are under reverse bias under reverse bias if you increase the reverse voltage depletion region width increases that is what we have written it as vgs increases negatively depletion region width w increases so that effective channel width is decreases w increases is nothing but depletion region width increases that depletion region it won't penetrate into p plus side it will always penetrate into n side that is it will penetrate into channel because depletion region always penetrates more into lightly doped side so that effective channel width is going to be reduces whenever effective channel width is reduces at that time current from drain to source reduces current from drain to source is reducing is nothing but the channel resistance is increasing so we can say channel resistance is inversely proportional to effective channel width rc channel resistance is inversely proportional to effective channel width so if you are removing that proportionality constant at that time rc is equal to k into 1 by t effective here we are discussing about the two things one is full channel thickness the other is effective channel width so we will get the relation between this one full channel thickness is nothing but whenever the pn junction are not reverse biased so full channel thickness is nothing but effective channel thickness plus two times of depletion region width depletion region width is indicated with w so that full channel thickness is t effective plus two times of w now we are going to calculate channel resistance when vgs is equal to minus 3 volts applied okay so to calculate that one we need the proportionality constant k value that k value can be calculated from the known information when no gate voltage is applied that is gate is open by that time full channel is available for conduction which is 10 micrometers that will be treated as effective channel width since no depletion region is formed w is equal to 0 and channel resistance at that point is 600 ohms so rc is equal to k into 1 by t effective k is equal to rc into t effective that is 6000 ohm micrometers now we need to calculate channel resistance with vgs of minus 3 volts to calculate channel resistance at vgs of minus 3 volts you must know what is the depletion region width at minus 3 volts of gate voltage and thereby you can calculate effective channel thickness at vgs is equal to minus 3 volts then you are going to use this rc is equal to k into 1 by t effective formula to calculate channel resistance at that vgs is equal to minus 3 volts okay so look at this one this is what the jf diagram given over here pn junction is becoming reverse bias because you are applying vgs is negative so we are looking at reverse biased pn junction and width of depletion region is nothing but width of depletion region of reverse biased pn junction where you are applying reverse voltage 
so in this case vgs is nothing but reverse voltage vbi is nothing but built in potential and w is nothing but reverse bias width so already we have studied under diode the relation between width of depletion region and applied reverse voltage vr is nothing but w is equal to square root of 2 epsilon vj by qnd for p plus n junction it is w is equal to square root of 2 epsilon vj divided by qnd w proportional to root vj vj is nothing but junction voltage which is nothing but sum of applied reverse voltage plus built in potential we are discussing it in reverse bias so we are not considering the negative sign we are directly considering the magnitudes so vr is nothing but applied reverse voltage here the value of this one is vgs plus vb vbi is nothing but built in potential so simply w is proportional to square root of vgs plus vbi so as vgs increases w is going to be increases from this information now we will calculate width of depletion region when vgs of minus 3 volts applied width when vgs is equal to 3 volts reverse bias divided by width when vgs is equal to 0 volts that is equal to root of 3 plus 1 divided by root of 0 plus 1 it will be equal to 2 by 1 so from this one you can calculate w with vgs of minus 3 volts is equal to 2 micrometers so effective channel width is nothing but t effective is 10 minus 2 times of w so 10 minus 2 into 2 which is 10 minus 4 which is 6 microamperes so effective channel width at vgs of minus 3 volts is 6 micrometers and we need to calculate channel resistance channel resistance is k times of 1 by t effective k is 6000 and into 1 by t effective is 6 so 1000 ohms channel resistance when vgs is equal to minus 3 volts is 1000 ohms so the right answer for this one is c 1000 ohms